Hey, right. Thanks for joining us on today's video. 69 Chevelle, big 396, big four speed, 12 bolt, disc brakes, correct wheels, and Mulsanne blue paint. I mean, this is uh, this is why we do video, man. Look at this car in the in in here. It just looks so good, and the sound. When we go for a test drive and you hear this thing, the motor in this car is some kind of sounding good. How you doing? All right, let's get into this. We'll talk about quality of paint because paint matters. You say, well, Tom, why does paint matter? Because every car is shiny. No, every car is not shiny. They look great in pictures, but they don't look great in person. And this is important for you to know how and what to see when you're looking at paint. Because if you're going to go to a car show, which I think this car qualifies to go to a car show, you'll want it to look good when you pull up. All right, so let's check the quality of the paint. Now listen, this is an important part of checking paint. You can always see what's in there. Maybe a guy's uh, doing a video and you see his jacket or the brand of the camera or whatever. What you really want to see is crisp letters where you can see every single letter, every detail nice and fine. The better the paint, the better the quality the letters are in there. When you see letters that have some sort of cloudiness to it, that will give you an idea that the paint is not as nice in person as it is uh, in pictures. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood because this, I laugh because this is wow factor. Wow factor. Wow. So like wow is really only one word, but as many times as you're going to say it when I open this, you're going to go wow, wow, wow. This is like, like car jewelry. Look at this, man. Uh, it's got that uh, Endura shine on the intake manifold, so it'll have that nice chrome polished look. All of the pulleys are chrome, the accessory brackets, the pump, the top of this piece, beautifully, beautifully detailed under here. You can see new bushings on the control arms, and the frame is painted nicely, and the firewall is painted black the way it's supposed to be. Uh, the battery topper's on here. It just looks super, super authentic under here. Uh, not to mention it looks authentic, but it's a tidy little bit of extra bling. So if you wanted to kind of return this back to stock, you could. Uh, it would be very easy, but I think it looks so nice that I'm not sure it even matters. And uh, we were told that it was rebuilt to 375, right around 400 horsepower here. That's a lot of power, man. You say, well, some cars have more power. Yeah, everybody says they have more power, but do they really have more power? When you hear this car run, uh, it'll make a sound and you go, wow, that car sounds like it has a lot of power. All right, so I like to show some of the detail stuff. With restoring a car, all new chrome here, chrome tips, bumper, taillight bezels. And you say, well, Tom, what does it really matter when you're talking about chrome bumper or whatever? What I'm talking about is the detail and effort it takes to get to this place, right? You just, uh, you just don't write a check and hope somebody will give you a new antenna bezel or something like that. When you see somebody who's done all of this around the car, not to mention, we're going to take a quick peek underneath here. There is a lot of effort, man, and the price of this car, it costs way more to restore it, and that's the way you want to buy a car. A car that's restored by someone else, driven a little bit, and then it's less money is really the way to go. So check out the detail in here. So not only uh, do we have the correct trunk mat, the correct aqua uh, trunk splatter paint, we also have the, the jacking decals here, right? Kind of the little detail stuff. Agreed. A decal is not expensive, it's just the detail that says uh, I've done the extra stuff to finish it off, which means that's, uh, I, in my opinion, a much better car. I wanted to show you this view here for two reasons. One, you need to see the detail and effort that's put in here. Normally when a car is just uh, what we call aerosol overhauled, everything is black underneath because it's just much easier to cover up all the grease, rust, all those things in black. When things are lots of different colors, that is the detail showing you fresh parts, nice detail, nice uh, uh, restoration and so look under here you got your 12 bolt hanging down there the exhaust is a different color the shocks are a different color the bolts for the shocks are a different color right and secondly the reason why I wanted you to see this is this is what most people will see from behind they'll see driving behind going wow that is a beautifully restored car back there not to mention uh, it's pretty fast you probably will have beaten them and that's also the view that they're going to get to all right so come join me in here and see why these cars have become uh, probably the most popular muscle car uh, in our inventory. There's room in here, right? You can take some people out in the car, all new upholstery, new carpets, console, dash, gauges, like all restored. You got the extra gauges in here, um, which is kind of nice. Then you got this, how you doing thing, the how you doing thing, that's what I call that, the how you doing thing, because rowing the shifter is uh, RPMs are moving up and down. You'll remember like you were back in high school or something like that, man. It's a great sound. It makes you smile when you're wheeling it. And everybody who's in the car is great too. Imagine this too, going out to dinner with another couple in here, right? Dinner is a whole different experience. Taking the kids someplace uh, as well in a cool old car like this. It's just really, really nice. 
All right, so we close up this video because it's time. It's time for you to think about doing this. Find a way to get this in your garage. I'm just telling you, man, in worlds of restoration, we have lots of cars come through here. This is a nice, nice, nice car. Beautiful colors, right? And a lot of hard work and detail put into it that you could be enjoying tomorrow if you wanted to and not waiting a year, two years, or three years to find something, restore it, go through the, the nightmare of all that. It's a lot, a lot of work. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this big block four speed Chevelle as you're rolling it down the road, right? 301-816-1000. And if you would please uh, share this with your friends, this video, if you'd like this on there and subscribe to our channel as well. And we will keep sending you great new videos.